statewide budget cut will reduce the funding of hundreds of pre-K programs in Texas. Fox 51's Jeremy Jenkins reports how one school will continue without that funding. STATE-OF-THE-ART CLASSROOMS, NEW SUPPLIES AND FULL STAFFING, THINGS SOME SCHOOLS ARE GOING TO DO WITHOUT AFTER LAWMAKERS' ANNOUNCEMENT TO PULL FUNDING. CAMPUS DIRECTOR OF LONGVIEW'S MONTESSORI ACADEMY SAYS THEY'RE PREPARED FOR THE CHANGE. And a lot of people will look at this and say $120 million, that's a lot of lost funding. Can you explain how this is going to affect your facility here? Funding was nice, but we have, uh, we have set up other avenues to support our program through our ADA partnerships with Region 7, the public school charter grant and the MSAP grant. The MSAP grant, or Magnet Assistance School Program, has brought in $3 million over the past three years to the academy. Another $1.6 million comes from a charter grant. And right here at Longview ISD's Montessori campus, it's that same budget structure that allows teachers to have the newest and latest technology to educate preschool students. Montessori specialist Brenda Daniels trains instructors in their teaching methods. Because of the well-planned budget, she'll be able to continue her role into the new school year. We're able to provide fully equipped classrooms for all of our teachers. Teacher training, we're very fortunate that our district offers that locally for all of our new and existing teachers to have them ready, available to serve our students academically uh, when school begins. More than 1,000 students currently attend the academy, something the faculty hopes will continue to grow despite shrinking state funding. Reporting in Longview, Jeremy Jenkins, Fox 51 News. Now, we did call a number of East Texas schools, and most said they were not receiving the funding or will not be affected because of additional sources of money.